like Evil Angel has always been on the forefront when it comes to being inclusive of trans performers. And I feel like Evil Angel produces the best mainstream trans content right now. So who better to do it for than Evil Angel? Hello. Hi, Chanel. It's Angela White. How are you? My name is Chanel Santini. I'm really excited. Me too. It's going to be so much fun. Today's a special day because I get to work with Angela White. She won Female Performer of the Year this year, so congratulations to her. It's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for agreeing to fuck me. <laughs> are you kidding? Thanks for having me. Thanks for wanting to work with me. Chanel is incredible. She's so stunningly beautiful, but she also connects with you. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the scene and about wardrobe. And so I was thinking of going for something really classy for this, like some really sexy lingerie, like maybe some agent. I definitely like that idea to keep it kind of on the classier side. I feel like us, it's going to be such a powerful scene. We need it to have like really good wardrobe. That kind of leads me to asking like, what, what do you like in a scene? Because I want to make sure you feel good. <laughs> um, well, I love a good blowjob. Okay. I love that. <laughs> and I love my ass being eaten out and yeah. I'm really, really thankful that, that you're going to work with me on something so special and yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, girl, we're definitely going to kill it. It's going to be a great scene and I'm super excited. And thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. This is huge. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, gorgeous. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, I feel really like silly because I just, I kind of got giddy. I kind of got really nervous. Like, oh my God. This is the first time I've ever done a first for another company. And that's not just, you know, for the financial benefit. It, it really is because you can only do a first once, obviously. And I always want it to be perfect. I trust that Evil Angel and I really trust that Joey Silvera is going to be able to do an incredible job of, of capturing my first TS scene. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Look incredible. You too. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for helping me. They left my suitcase in my car. <laughs> okay. I have to go get my suitcase. You go get it? Yeah, I'll go okay. get it. Okay, I don't want to get it. <laughs> so today, Joey Severa will be directing our scene, and I've worked with him many times, and he is an amazing director. And what I love about him is it's very intimate when it comes to filming. Uh, usually with porn, you have a lot of people around. You have camera guys, PAs, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff going on but when it comes to joy it's just him and so he captures just us so it's, it's more intimate and it's more personal Someone asked me the other day, because like on Instagram you can ask people questions, and someone's like, do you like giving blowjobs or eating pussy? And I was like, definitely eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I like that, and I gotta watch out for my nails. I don't think, know if I can finger you. Gotta be careful. <laughs> well, we'll play it by ear, see, see yeah. how you go. I'm, I'm easy. I go with the flow, and so it's really about the connection with my partner, so whatever they're feeling on the day, I vibe off that. So if you're feeling like you want to go crazy and get rough, I'm down. If you're in a more romantic, sensual mood, I'm good with that. Okay. I'm, I, I just well, like I like to like get rough, and then if I get tired, I like to keep it slow so and roman romantic, and then pick it up again. <laughs> so you're you're a lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're a lover. <laughs> cool. I think what's most important is chemistry and the vibe that you have with your partner. I think that's important. I think that's what makes a really, really good scene. This is exciting because I'm working. You won Performer of the Year, and I worked with Chechik last year, and yes. she won Performer last year, so it's cool. Hopefully, whoever wins next year, I'll fuck her too. Yes. So. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool that um, that we're able to do a scene that is kind of more progressive, and you know, I feel like there's still 
there's still a little bit of a stigma around. Definitely. Uh, especially like from my end doing like more mainstream porn, you mm -hmm. know, there's still a stigma about doing trans scenes, which is crazy. Yeah, I definitely feel like there, there still is like that stigma. You know, I feel like trans porn is evolving though. Yes. And it is like getting bigger and it is getting better, which is, which is awesome, you know? Yeah. It's gonna be a hot tea girl on girl scene. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So. Boy. So it's really pretty, really delicate. And once it's on, it basically just looks like we're wearing stars. It's cool. I went and bought her the same set. So I got her sizes, so hopefully it should fit. So I've got the matching yeah. bra. And oh, it's fucking great. Matching panties. So I feel like, I feel wow. like that That's, could be. Uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna suck. I like the stuff. <laughs> No, they bring high-end stuff sometimes. It's got that, that you know, Eastern European look. Yeah. Wait, the, the Eastern European look is high-end lingerie? They make beautiful lingerie, but it's too beautiful for me. Oh. I like this. That you like is fucking hot. Joey's a very interesting and intriguing character. He's kind of mysterious. So for the scene, for the scene too, um, I don't know, I like to... You know, just I like it to, to think that you're just performing for one person, uh -huh. you know, because that's usually some guy just watching that. So keep that in mind, it's, it's for one person. But <laughs> pose as if I know that someone's yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I okay. love that. I love that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So pose as if you're watching. Yeah, the camera's the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. And then look into the lens sometimes, you know. Okay. Even his instructions on set, it was really difficult to discern what he actually wanted. It's like he's a little bit of an, an enigma. Yeah, so it's, uh, so it's uh, sort of like a webcam, but not, you know what I mean? For the scene? It's, yeah, kind of like that. Okay. But not, you know, you know what I'm saying. Well, so... Not so I'm not talking, so I'm not interacting in a talking way, but sometimes looking as if... Hey, yeah. you're watching. Yeah. That's fucked. All right. I can do that. Easy. Something like that. Yeah. Easy. It was very easy to tell that Joey loves shooting TS scenes. I could tell that, that that was his passion. Do you see some of the work you do as, as activism? Or do you just kind of... Uh, lately, a little bit more, yeah. Yeah. A little bit more. Because I feel like the work that you do, it you know, it's, it's positive for the trans community because you're, you're representing know. trans I, bodies as sexy. I actually went through a period where I said to myself, you know, these are girls. I Right from instinctually from day one, that's probably why, I, you know, I like what I do. They were girls and that was the bottom line. But then all of a sudden it hit me a couple of years ago when everything was, you know, in the front and everything. They're like, wow, I'm hiring these girls, but I'm telling them to get hard. Yeah. And like, is that, is that an insult to some of them? Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. plenty of them, it's not really what they're into, maybe. Yeah. You know? But, I don't know. I've never, nobody's ever said to me, like, you know, I'm insulted. You know? Yeah. But in my mind, I thought about it, you know. I think that everyone should, should feel that way and think that way, but, and I think that we're progressing towards that, but yeah. it takes time, but it, it takes things like this, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah where there's a positive representation of the trans community. I guess so. I don't and, know. Uh, you know, well, <sighs> yes, I think... There's groups that say it isn't, though, you know? Um, They're missing the point because porno is porno. Yeah. Whether it's a straight scene, gay scene, uh, uh, TS scene, it's porno. And there has to have something pretty pornographic to make it a porno. Yeah. So... It's a step. They're part of the industry, that's the bottom line. But, so, I, but I think it's a step in the right direction. But what, what I was going to say is that people who are maybe see it as, as a step back against them, mm -hmm. that's like saying all porno is, is fucked up too. Yeah. That's what you know, so. Porn, in the end, it's, it's entertainment. It's not always going to be educational and it's not always going to be a form of activism. But at the very least, trans viewers see their body represented and see their bodies being desired. I think that's important.
Joey Silvera is a legend in this industry, yet he doesn't really see himself as one. <gasps> mm. 